Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Shade and welcome to Shade's Mix. Today I have my lovely boyfriend Jasper with me today. The only boyfriend. Too. The only boyfriend, that's right. And we are at from Mingo Gardens, checking out the beautiful scenery. Um, it is one of Florida's hidden gems, and I promise you guys I would do a hidden gem. So here we are. Don't forget if you guys are interested in true crimes, my life here in South Florida, and its beautiful hidden gems. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and look at our friend. <laughs> look at how beautiful they are, guys. So. We are going to take you through the Flamingo Garden and show you all the beauty. Look at this big ass kid. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. Ooh, so pretty. Hi, pretty. Hi, Did you guys think that I was gonna have you just listen to music this whole time? Absolutely not. It is me again, guys, with another voiceover attempt, and I am just going to go over a little bit of the history of Flamingo Garden. So, as you guys can see right now, we are currently on the tram, and the tram takes you around the whole location. Flamingo Garden is a whopping 60-acre tropical botanic garden and Everglades wildlife sanctuary. Sanctuary! Sorry, I just had to do that. It is located at the heart of Fort Lauderdale in Davie, Florida, so literally in my backyard the cost to get in for adults is about $20 and kids are 15 however if you are a student or have any of those fancy discounts you know AARP or whatever else you may have you can get a whopping 20% off, off of the entrance fee which heck yeah baby save me some coins I immediately whipped out my um, school ID got that discount for the both of us because everybody knows that I love a good discount, but this place is absolutely worth it. I'm so sorry for like the shaky, I'm still learning how to basically use my camera, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, but yes, moving on. The garden, um, as it is referred to, is property of Floyd and Jay Ray, who built it in 1927 as their weekend home in Citrus Groove. At first I was like, what the hell is a Citrus Groove? But I forgot that Florida is the home of oranges, so it makes sense that they would go into that profession. And once they made this their weekend home, they started traveling around the world collecting rare and unusual plants. And it is as we see it now, a haven and they give daily tours, which is what I'm on right now, which was super informative. I learned a lot about different plants and I've always wondered and for like, what the hell is that? Like, should I, is it safe to touch? Like so much good information was provided and just going around the tram, it really just put into perspective how big this place is because baby girl, I was not going to walk this even on my best day. All right. <laughs> The sanctuary has a ton of animals as you can see here. Not all the animals I'm able to show you because they weren't out and about. But they do have a black bear, some udders, some alligators, bobcats, and tons and tons of birds, turtles, swans, and of course, as you see here, flamingos. Um, as someone who suffers greatly from anxiety, this is a paradise. It offered me a way for me to disconnect from the world right in my backyard. It took us about three hours to see the bulk of the park, but I'm sure that there are some things that we did not stop and see or may have accidentally overlooked. If anyone knows me, knows that I love, love turtles, right? Love turtles. And the fact that they have such a big variety of turtles here, I was like, can I take one home? I'll take good care of it. But yeah, no, they didn't allow that to happen. But look at them. I'm just showing you guys like so the catalog and look how cute they are. Oh my goodness. If I could have put one in my bag, I would have. I know that's bad. And look at 
big bertha i don't know if it's a male or female but he was just moving around trying to get people to pet on him and you know i was trying to put him in my bag here are the others as i um told you guys that they have they all remind me of little prestigious um as you guys know prestigious my dog a pogo super playful and i was like oh my god it's just a prestige in the water i know guys i know look how cute they are honestly this place is absolutely worth it um from the fee to walking around um just 10 out of 10. this is actually my first zoo i know that sounds weird because i am you know there's a major zoo in new york but yeah i've never really been to the zoo or don't remember which is probably the don't remember part as you can see here i got jasper to try to feed one of the peacocks now at first he was throwing the pellets at them and I'm like sir 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 hell no what are you doing you gotta put your hand out so he puts his hand out he freaks out because the damn peacock bit him <laughs> I missed that part and I'm sad because I would have showed it to you guys but here is me I tried to touch the peacock and it was like sis you ain't got no food I'm not here for you but they are just gentle giants. None of the peacocks that we saw had their um, tails open, I guess because it's not mini season or they didn't feel threatened. And look this, okay, so I thought this was an albino peacock. No, it's a mutation. I'm gonna just call it an albino. I know that may not be right, but it's a mutation in their feathers where they lose all the pigment. But wasn't she gorgeous? Psh, gorgeous okay and now this part this part was um probably the most traumatic part as someone who grew up with birds i personally don't enjoy birds <laughs> like big birds because they just scare me and look how big these that what is that okay when i walked in the first thing that i verbally said out loud and felt super embarrassed about was oh my god these are the animals in jurassic park what why would i say something like that but i did and of course look at the beautiful flamingos so yeah i've never seen a flamingo and i thought they were they i thought they looked like pecan sam I don't know guys i'm from new york city we got pigeons and we got rats we ain't got all this fancy stuff there you know all right guys so we are leaving now the flamingo world as you can see it is a beautiful place it is literally a sanctuary away from a sanctuary you had a good time yeah. you had a good time yeah that's really dope I fed, what else is called? I fed a peacock, guys. I'm so excited. All right, so we are leaving. Peace.